Hi everyone, today I'm going to make a video to show you how to draw a pipe and a flange uh, for civil drawings. You use it quite a lot in civil drawings. So I'm going to show you how to draw the finer details of the pipe assembly in a civil drawing. So to start with, I went on the internet and I got the flange that I wanted to draw or the sizes I, that I needed. And I'm going to start with drawing this out in 2D. So we're going to convert it to 3D just after we, we're we done drawing it in 2D. So to start with, I'm going to draw the outer diameter. So you go to OD and you go on the table. I'm going to draw the bottom one here. So the OD of this flange is 99.75. So I'm going to draw a circle. I'm going to click the start point or the center point. Type in D to go into diameter and then type in 99.75 units. So that is the actual size of the flange outer diameter. I'm just going to scale this up so that I don't have to zoom in every time I want to check a di dimension. And the next I'm going to get the bolt circles. So you go to BC on the table and you see it's 95.5. So again with the center point of the circle I've already drawn. Go into D for diameter. 95.5. And that is the center point of all the circles. The bolts. So the next one is E. So diameter are at base is E. So I'm going to the bottom circle again, D to go to diameter, 90.5. And then for the last one is the diameter of the inside of the pipe or the bore of the pipe. So circle, go to the center point of the flange and 84.19. So D for diameter, 84.19. Okay, so there is all the main ingredients of drawing this flange. So to start with, I'm going to draw the holes that is needed. I'm going to draw one at the top. So I go to the center. I'm going to make the holes, let's say... 3 millimeters. So go to D again, 3, and that's the size of the holes. Now, instead of copying everyone around, I'm just going to use the array function. So I'm going to select the circle, polar array, select the center, and I'm going to put in 12, 12 holes for this flange. So as you can see, I just changed the items to 12. And it has drawn 12 holes for my flange. So escape the function, just select the array, hit X for explode, so it gives you individual circles instead of one object. So the next step is to draw this in 3D now. So I can just remove that circle where the ball, the bolt circle. So to draw the thickness of the flange, you can see it's T. So I'm going to go to T on the table. So 3.875. So I'm going to press pull function. 3.875. Enter. And there's the thickness of the flange. So the other thickness that I need, it's going to be L. So I go to L on the table, 5.375. So then I'm going to use a press pull function again, 5.375. And as you can see, it's drawn a 3D flange just as I needed. So to draw the pipe, the pipe I'm going to make the same. I'm going to make it the thickness of, let's say, a 2 millimeter pipe. So I'm going to use the B 
dimension, the ball dimension, and just put two millimeters extra there. So I'm going to draw a cylinder and get the top center point and make uh, just any length that I want. And then I'm going to move it to the side one millimeter. So, or I'm, I wanted to make it two millimeters, so another millimeter. Then I have a pipe that is going to be two millimeters thick. So to make this a pipe, the cylinder, I'm going to select it. I'm going to solid, shell, select the object, select what I want to remove, the faces, right click, and say the thickness of the pipe should be 2. So as you can see, it's created a 3D pipe. So just enter twice to exit the command. So as you can see, there is a pipe with a flange. And I'm going to rotate this because I want to put the flange on the other side as well. I'm just going to rotate 90 degrees. And I'm going to select the flange. First, what I want to do with the flange is I want to make it one object instead of the two. So I make sure to select the join function for 3D or solid union. Select both of them right click to accept and then it's one object so the next step is to mirror this as you can see it's mirrored to the other side of the pipe and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to join everything together so there you have a pipe with flanges on both sides. So you can make the length of this pipe anything that you want. So for the next drawing I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to make a T-piece for this exact same pipe and also a couple of other methods to do it. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.